everybody! So it's like one of my favorite times of the month. We have gotten this month's... <laughs> Sorry, mom's in the background watching. She's never actually seen us film before, so this is a new experience for everybody. We've got a couple of guests. Yeah, we've got we've got behind the scenes guests. We've got behind the scenes mom. We've got behind the scenes Karen. And we've got behind the so oh, like under the scenes Sarah. I'm beside the scenes. <laughs> beside the scenes Sarah. <laughs> But anyway, we got this month's Universal Yums box, and I'm very excited for this. Sarah is poking through it right now. Um, but since Universal Yums has kind of started to show what the... It's not a surprise, really, where they're from anymore. I'm going to let you guys know that this month's box, everything is from Greece. And I'm super excited for that. Don't take it out yet. <laughs> Just swat her down. Okay. No! Pass me a box and then I can hand you things for you to look at. Okay. Or for two. I so, was going to hand you things and read from the book. Well, I want to show off the box first, as always. This it's is packed really delightfully nice. packaged with a ton of things. Holy macaroni. Oh, um, welcome to Greece. Welcome to Greece. Now, they actually started to do something a little different on the back. Uh, now it is the official Yum Awards. Yeah, each person can vote for only one snack in each Yum Award category, so everybody choose carefully. So we get the best yum, the runner-up, the worst yum, and the most unusual. Guys, so actually all vote for this and put it, we'll put it on social media when we're done. And if we're chosen by the University Yum's crew, we actually get bonus mm -hmm. snacks. I love the so, idea of bonus snacks. Bonus snacks are great. So as you I can see- I like the idea of snacks. Yeah. So we're gonna go general, through. Yeah. I'm gonna go through this, and Sarah is gonna tell me what we've got. So no, I'm gonna hand you things. Oh, Sarah's gonna hand Sarah's things gonna go through boxes. I'll tell you. No. So the first thing appears to be some kind of like berry donut. That Sarah's like. Typically, when someone says something is musty, it's not really a good thing. I'm but afraid. it looks like we found the exception. These cookies are musty for a reason. They're actually made with must. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just saw the phrase 100% natural must on this. What, must is a thing? I thought that was just like a smell. Is must what mustard is made of? Creating must is a must. Excuse our pun. <laughs> it's a wine making process. Oh, they're like wine, wine cookies. They're made into must. Oh, so it's like before the grapes, like Bob the most grapes. Actively thumbsing everything down here. All right, so we've got those. Ooh. All right, we got. Actually, these are probably good. They're they look like bagel chips. They're bread chips. Bread chips by Totties or Totties. Totties, and I don't read Greek. It's onion bread chips. It's on the yeah. No, I know what English side. On, on the back is yeah. Greek. Well, that's uh, these are probably delicious. So that's we good. We may have a vision in our heads of Greeks sitting down for dinner with a basket filled with pita, but the vision isn't a reality. <laughs> it's just pita bread. That is what they say. Oh, nice. Okay. Ooh, we got us. Now this is the same damn company. This is Toddy's again. Maybe but that's this appears to be Nabisco. a sweet chocolate biscuit kind of thing. Dark chocolate on the outside, down the bottom there. What we got? In 1861, dark chocolate was brought to the Athens by a true entrepreneur named something very Greek. Right, Mom, <laughs> Mom wants this one, so I'm gonna put this one to the I side. I'm looking <laughs> at the box, and I can spoiler see a bunch of like candy bars yeah, in there. Yeah, there's a bunch of. Ooh. So there's two what's of the this same guy? Things. Uh, Ooh, is a croissant. Cr double filled croissant with chocolate and vanilla. Ooh, a sweet croissant. Ooh, that's oh, probably awesome. good. Put that one to this the side. This is a breakfast item with chocolate and milk pie. Mmm. You're gonna have to take that for breakfast, breakfast. to work. What we got next? We have a derby bar. What we got for inf info on these? There's, There's so much going on with this chocolate bar. We don't even know where to start. It might be coconut. It might be crisp rice, and if there it's a is whole coconut, bunch of milk chocolate. None for Sarah. All right, Mom's Delicious. saying no for this one. I'm so worried. Have, this, okay, this is no a triplo. It says it's a milk chocolate with hazelnut flavored cream and waffle. That we are All right. trying. This one, yeah. that is saying there. Lots cause... and lots of wafer. <laughs> okay, this is a almond sesame bar. Sarah, you want to give me some more info on this one? This is a yum. You're eating something that will transport you back in time. Way back in time. Ooh. This snack um, was also eaten in ancient Greece. Holy pretty cool, crap! Huh? That is pretty cool, actually. I'm going to put this one on the taste pile because I'm interested in it. Big chip. Talking oh, they had honey chips. on them. Okay, this is all in Greek on the back. So... It's oregano. Oh, no. Why? 
Oh, Greek. Mom says Greek or I can know is different from. You're allowed to talk. Yeah, you can talk. It's okay. Italian or, or Mexican. So it, oh. it, it would be a little bit we different. We will try it. We'll Maybe these, not. We'll put those in the try pile. What we got next? Oh. And a, oh, this is. Okay. All right, so there's a bunch of yums. The there's our, 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 our yum bag. We've got a couple in here. Um, there's three different ones. One of them looks like it's an apple flavored sweet. Oh, oh they're honey flavored. Oh, these are honey flavored. These are apple flavored. And then what are these? They look like chocolate caramels almost. Um, they look like little chocolate squares. They don't have them. Flip them through. Cause there's, oh, they're there's all three separate. Different, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bliss. Cocoa toffee. Cocoa toffee. I wonder if they Ooh. ever do a box from America for other countries and it's just those strawberry candies with the filling of They call these candies. the nectar of the gods. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we've got three more things in there. What? Ooh, I'm pack. very excited with this. Ooh, really? olives in a pack. I love olives. Olives are delicious. Elise loves olives. Love them or hate what? them. We can't visit Greece without them. Mar marinated with fennel and coriander. I am very excited for this. I'm going to try these on my own. Yeah, I was going to say, nobody try else wants to eat those. Um, next. Oh, it's halva. I've heard of halva before. Peanut halva. Mmm. I like peanuts. 98% of Greeks belong to the Greek Orthodox Church where this snack came from. It has a very strange consistency. Uh, so it's got a weird texture? But it's very pleasant. It's just this different than anything we've ever had. Cool. Like, I've had halva. Halva. Ooh, and then this is the last thing. This is it's called an Ion Break milk chocolate with almonds, orange, and lemon pieces. This could be cool. But I think we've got we've got our we've got enough to taste in the video. Yeah, we've got enough to taste for the video. When we turn um, off the video. Turn off we're probably the camera. We'll probably, other stuff. Yeah, we'll film it, but we won't film it. But I think we'll start with the savory and then we'll move on to the. Yeah, sweet. we're so gonna try thing, these scary chips. We're gonna try the oregano chips. Okay, you're everybody right. take one. Smell like a pizza without sauce. I like the shape. That's not bad. Awkward. Share with the class. Eat. Sarah doesn't have as many allergies as other people. Oh my god. Those are actually really good. Really good. Those That's are really so good. Fun. They smell they don't smell as good as they taste. They taste a lot better. Another green mm. the um uh, those are really nice. These are delightful. I like these. See what I mean by being Yeah, it's 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 a lot better than the Italian oregano, I think. You guys have seen some of the international or the Lay's do me a flavor taste test we've tried. This has like th there's part of this in that uh, tzatziki flavor oh. we tried. Right, so the next one we're trying is the almond sesame bar. It's not chewy. Oh, I like that. It is very, very basic, but smells I like savory, not sweet. It's a slight sweetness. It I like sweet. almond. I like sesame seeds. Mm. And I like honey. I know mom doesn't like honey. I've had these before. Oh, you've had these before? You know what? Mm. I've never had sesame concentrated like this. It's really nice. That is really cool. That's a lot better than I expected it to be. Mmm. Okay. It's more like a granola bar than a candy. The next one we're trying is the Serenata Top, um, uh, Serenata Dark. This is the one that mom was really looking forward to, so. Oh, it's like one big bar, so again, I'm gonna have to take, like, the, the one bite and then pass it, I think. Yep. Well. I'm a polite pass. Dark chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. It's kind of mellow. I'm very wafery. Yeah. Very good, though. So. I'm okay on that one. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it's very just kind of basic. Mm. This, however, conveniently, in oh no, there's only three balls, but... <laughs> balls. Sarah, do you want this I'm chocolate? Go. What is it? It's hazelnut. Mm. Oh, that's real good. Mmm. Oh. It's sort of like a bocce. Kinda. That, I think, out of all of these that we snacked on so far, that's my favorite. I really like that. I would buy those again. But I, gotta, I always love hazelnut, 
basically anytime we get a hazelnut flavored snack, I'm on board with it. Wow. That's tasty. Um, I would again. seek that out to buy it again. Yeah, I would definitely try to purchase those again. That's that's some damn good stuff. Let Sarah try the weird cookies. I okay, want to try wants the musk. Sarah wants to try the musk cookies. <laughs> Bust open the musk cookies, my friend. Bust oh, the musk. looks like all the musk it cookies are... It looks like poop. It smells like gingerbread. Oh, it does smell like gingerbread. Actually. Yeah, it smells like gingerbread. Bread. I don't want a whole cookie. I'm going to take a bite of Elise's so when she doesn't finish it. It doesn't taste like anything. It smells like gingerbread. But it must. Ah. It's it must. Like... Mm -mm. Ma, it has like no flavor. Yeah, it's it has very no flavor. It it's like so plain. It has like a little bit of that ginger bread. It has yeah. the air around it tastes more than it does. Yeah. Does it taste musky? <laughs> no, not musky. Musty. Must oh. and musk are different. Oh, my bad. These are must cookies. Unfortunately, I wouldn't say they were a must. No. That's kind of a pass, guys. You know what? These are probably really nice if you dip them in coffee. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. If you're interested in getting some Universal Yums for yourself, I'll have a link to the description. Like I said, they I'm not sponsored. I just really like these and I'm super glad to continue these. For me, it was a toss-up between the hazelnut one and those oregano chips. Those were these were really damn good. Question of the day. <laughs> oregano <laughs> potato chips. Yay or nay? What would you think? My social media links are in the description below. Uh, you can check out my, I don't know, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff is linked down there. Which one? Patreon. My, oh, my Patreon too. I got one of those as well. That. If you liked what you saw, hit the little like button, subscribe to the channel for more taste tests. Hit that little bell for notifications. And then we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.